Well, happy days, guys. The robot lawnmower has almost finished mowing the grass. Hello, everybody. Another episode of the robot lawnmower. Good news. Anyway, even better news. Guess who's here? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, we need to adjust the uh, robot lawnmower to accommodate the new motor and gearbox assembly for the cutting blades. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, um, we're employing a McAllister jigsaw. Just about long enough to be able to do this. Yep, it's a little bit sunny out in England today. So um, we've uh, rigged up the impromptu shelter, which is connected to the garage. We're still working on the robot lawnmower. Uh, we've been trying to find a solution to the motor and gearbox for the cutter. And we found a nylock and some washers that will fit. So um, yeah. We're actually making some progress today. Uh, we had to dig through quite a few spare bits and pieces. But yeah, definitely making some progress. Right, so, um, good news. We've cut a hole in top of the robot lawnmower. The motor now sort of fits after a fashion. Um, yesterday we were using an angle grinder and uh, we now have uh, an old blade from the angle grinder uh, that's a bit small. And um, we've managed to find the appropriate bits to bolt that to the gearbox assembly, the motor and gearbox assembly. What we're going to do now is we're going to put some uh, put some blades on here in the appropriate way or in an uh, inappropriate way and um, yeah we're going to end up with something that looks a little bit like this. It's going to be horribly dangerous. All right so here she is. We've got some uh, Araldite part A and part B uh, metal glue mixed up washers uh, uh, keeping the razor blades at the appropriate uh, height and um, everything's on an angle grinding disc uh, yeah uh, this will be uh, this is the whole new next level of dangerous a whole new next level of dangerous for the robot lawnmower project okay so what we've got then is um, razor blades on uh, on the motor and gearbox assembly uh, all set currently on the high speed setting and a big box of lithium ion batteries 12 volt supply here she goes not exactly in balance at the moment and um, look at that nothing stopping that and she's cutting the grass a beauty efficiently whoops cable fell off that's working a treat Good news. All right, guys, great news. So um, we now have the uh, motor and gearbox assembly in place. And um, we also have some rather serious <laughs> razor blades uh, mounted to an angle grinding disc. And uh, yeah. So, see, uh, see how she does. Yeah, carry on. Thank you. All right, so good news. Preliminary testing of the new motor and blade system have indicated that this might well actually do the trick. Um, it doesn't draw an awful lot of current. Uh, it uh, it's quite efficient. Uh, what we did need to do is um, up the battery voltage. So Richard is working on that as we speak. Um, so yeah, give us a few minutes, and uh, hopefully we should be able to show you show you the low robot lawnmower working again. But this time. Uh, without the overheating and uh, with a bit more efficiency uh, than it operated uh, the last time around. Uh, thank you very much for all your hard work so far, Richard. 
All right, and so uh, here's the blades. Uh, they're gonna get um, bolted onto the bottom of the motor in just a minute. It consists of um, four Stanley knife blades and an angle grinding disc, which I think I've covered a couple of times already. But yeah, uh, watch this space. All right, so uh, good news. Uh, the mower is definitely cutting. Spin her around for us if you can. I was in the, the other way so we can see the blades. Uh, she's now got four Stanley knife blades on the back of it and um, she's definitely cutting far more efficiently than she was before. Um, still plenty of work to do to get things right, but uh, we're, we're heading in the right direction. So we need to step up the power for the uh, drive motors for the, for the uh, for the drive wheels. So uh, anyway, um, successful, successful day. Here it is, raining grass. It has had a little bit of intervention, me chasing after it with a stick, but ultimately it's got most of it mown, which is awesome. Yes, Numpty Taylor forgot again. There's razor blades on the bottom of your lawnmower now, you idiot. Muppet. So, um, if the robot lawnmower doesn't work out as a robot lawnmower, we could always use it to cut carrots. <laughs> uh, okay, so it's a bit dangerous. Uh, strongly suggest you don't do this at home, children. If you have developed your own robot lawnmower. Here's the cutting disc. Here's a carrot. Covered in carrot. Wicked. <laughs>